Hi guys, Mini Place here, bringing you another Clash of Clans video. So today, what I'm going to be doing is going through the March 2018 update. So, uh, the first sneak peek is going to be coming soon to Clan Games. Now, when this updates out, I'll either do a stream on Wednesday or this Sunday. This coming Sunday, I'm going to be doing a stream of Clash of Clans anyway. So, uh, hopefully, the update's out by then. Hopefully, it's out midweek. If it is, then maybe I'll do a stream of it on Wednesday. Maybe not. Uh, but new clan games challenges. Win 3 stars against the specific town all level in multiplayer battles. And 5 stars in multiplayer battles against opponents in Titan League. That is going to make it extremely difficult for us. Uh, since there's no one in Titan League in our clan. Uh, get stars from a town all level higher than your own. Interesting. Get stars without using spells. Get stars without using heroes. Um, 3 stars from a clan war battle. Uh, that is an interesting one. Lock out a number of level points of a specific hero. Uh, earn 5 stars in versus battles using super pecker. Destroy a number of Mega Teslas in versus battles. So pretty much with this first sneak peek, they already confirmed BHA. If anyone was actually paying attention, they did mention Super Pekka and they did mention Mega Tesla. So obviously that's kind of confirmed it. We have also introduced a selection of new magic items with some much requested abilities. So build a potion. This magic item will speed up the progress of your builders in the main village by 10 times for one hour. That is massive. Uh, except for me. Uh, that's not massive for me because... Uh, I only really have one or two builders going at a time, generally. Uh, a week or two ago, I had four builders going at a time, but generally I don't have too many going at a time, so I really can't see that helping too much, but uh, okay, seems fair enough. Runes, these magic items will fill the storage of one of your five resources. Gold, elixir, dark elixir, builder base gold, and builder base elixir. Max capacity, one per resource type. Uh, so they are going to be books i'm guessing uh so just called runes uh a book of runes something like that uh so the magic item is going to fill the storage of one of your resources so i'm not sure if it means one storage so out of the um several gold storages out of the four gold storages it's going to fill one of these completely up i don't know if it's um it's going to do that or not uh also let me quickly rearm my traps really quick uh, but i don't know if it's going to fill the entire storage like the entire eight and a half million or something like that I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. Uh, it's probably going to be the most helpful with gold. But yeah, Ring of Walls. This magic item will increase the level of your walls. They can be used to upgrade walls in both the home village and the builder base. Max capacity 25. So I think what that means is... I think it upgrades 25 walls. I don't know if it means you get 25 of those potions. Probably not. Uh, I don't know if that's a book or not. It did not say potions. So maybe that's a book. I'm not entirely sure. That's not all. Just like Clan Wars, your clan will now earn Clan XP at the end of every clan game, determined by the number of thresholds reached by you and your clan mates. Interesting. So it's not just War XP now. So it's uh, it's actually called Clan XP. I didn't even know that. That just proves how much attention I pay. And we now have a new achievement for you. Complete the new Clan Games Champion achievement by earning personal points in clan games to earn some extra gems and player XP on the side. So pretty interesting, there's an achievement for it as well. All this will be live in the next game update, so until then, clash on. So it sounds interesting. Um, there's a lot of new stuff coming in the sneak peek right there. Uh, so March update, home village balancing. So here are the balance changes pretty much. Hey there again, Chief. If you like what you saw in yesterday's preview of what's coming in the spring 2018 update, here are some more tidbits of what is in store for you. So Pekka balancing, level four is now available at TH9 instead of 10. Uh, level 6 is now available at TH10 instead of 11. Uh, cost 8.5 million elixir instead of 10 million, so literally the max amount that you can hold. Level 7 is available at Tunnel 11. Upgrade times have been adjusted slash reduced, so the level 7 upgrade is now 14 days. Uh, interesting, so they've also slightly buffed it there. Multi-mode damage to Inferno Towers has been increased, so level 3 by 4, level 4 by 3. And level 5 by 4 damage. Single mode damage has been balanced to increase the time it takes to reach maximum damage from 4 and a quarter to 5 and a quarter seconds. That is absolutely massive. That is a big, big change right there. Wizard Tower level 9 damage has been decreased by 2. Really do not understand that. Is, is that even going to increase or decrease the amount of troops it kills in any circumstance? Besides like golems or something by one shot? I don't even know. Um, new trap levels, skeleton trap level 4, giant bomb level 5. Bomb level 7 and air bomb level 5. Pretty interesting right there. And now walls, town 11, all level 11 walls can now be upgraded to 12. So obviously they've been uh, playing it really cautiously with the amount of walls you can upgrade. Now they're making it so that, uh, yeah, you can go and upgrade every single wall now. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty good. Other, the Barbarian King's Iron Fist ability will only affect the Barbarians he spawns. Uh, so that is pretty interesting right there. There's a nerf to Barbarians. I don't really get that, but okay, it kind of makes sense. 
and multi mortar gear up is available to upgrade a single mortar at Town Hall 10. So uh, I'm going to be able to get that when I get to BH8, but right now I'm not even BH7, so you know, I'm not going to be able to do that yet. Introduced in the trader, this is the most interesting thing yet of the update, I feel like. Uh, I'm not really that interested in BH8, but I'm not going to get there for quite a while. The trader is a travelling merchant who, starting at Town Hall 8, will frequent your village to peddle his exotic wares. Selling shop on the other side of the clan path, so I'm guessing uh, where the clan game thing is, across from the clan game's carriage, yeah. The trader will have three special deals for you each day. Perhaps you'd like to acquire a magic item or other rare and unusual novelties. The trader may have just what you're looking for. So I think what that means, instead of these uh, special offers that appear in the shop, like next to the treasure and the army sections, I think what that means is like buying it with uh, gold elixir, dark elixir, builder base gold, builder base elixir, maybe gems, I'm not sure. Uh, however they decide to work it out. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do uh, for the rest of the video is I'm going to go on to my mini account, I feel like. I don't really have much to do on my main right here. And I'm going to continue the clan games grinding. Now, I don't want to keep this video too long, obviously. Uh, I've edited it quite a lot um, just to get rid of all the... Um, all the rambling and stuff because I know I ramble a lot in these videos and I say a lot wrong, get tongue tied and stuff like that. But yeah, we're on the mini account now, so uh, we have actually got no builders right now, so I can kind of see the builder potion really helping for this account, obviously boosting them by times 10 for an entire hour. That is crazy. It's like nine hours of progress extra in an hour. So we're currently nine out of 18 stars in Star Collector. It's not going to make a difference to the amount of clan points we get, but it is going to give me something to do for the video. So you know, there is something out of it. So, uh, what I'm going to basically be doing is looking for a base with low level air defences or air defences upgrading. So, basically, uh, any bases like this one, great, with absolutely no air defences whatsoever, besides that one. Uh, we've got that air defence, but I can easily get rid of that. So, giant bomb right there. We're going to be able to use a few archers as well as those giants. And we're going to be able to pretty easily get rid of that. So I think I'm also going to go with another giant just to tank for the balloons. But yeah, I'm going to go right here with this. Going to instantly get air bombs twice. So we're definitely going to heal that. Uh, and then we're going to use a giant on both of these wizard towers here. They are going to split up. So that is perfect right there. Uh, they're going to go around getting rid of the symmetrical base right here. Uh, obviously symmetrical base, this is a reason why symmetrical bases are not always a good thing. I don't actually find many symmetrical bases anymore, but... Uh, this is kind of an example of why you would not want a symmetrical base. Uh, so now, once we've took out all the defences, we're going to go in with a barb on every single structure, and hopefully we're able to take out the base pretty quick. So, um, yeah, this is actually going to be a pretty quick video. So, uh, taking out two buildings at a time with those balloons right there. Obviously, they're going to split up. They're going to go over to the mines to help out the barbs. Uh, Giant and the two barbs over there, getting rid of that um, elixir pump. And then we're going to get up to one star right there, 70% right now, uh, giving the shield 14 hours. We're getting a ton of loot from this. Uh, this is actually a really, really good find for uh, such an early base. Obviously, I've not even cropped any out because I didn't even need to because I was literally talking about how I need to like find a base with low-level air defenses at the same time. So I didn't even need to like crop any of that out, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, pretty good, though. Pretty good. Uh, obviously, it makes my life a lot easier finding a base a lot quicker than I normally do. Uh, so four balloons going to join back in uh, with each other and they're going to be able to take out that town hall right there. Then they're going to go over to the clan castle. No builders huts right now, so we've been able to take out the base right there. Three stars and we're now 12 out of 18 stars for the challenge, so pretty decent. And I think I'm going to end off the episode there, so six more stars I need. Uh, and I actually got a massive, massive loot raid, but I have recorded it for a quest for loot video, episode two. Uh, whenever I'm not able to record, then I'll be releasing that. Right now I have seven raids uh, that I'm going to be able to release. So obviously I'll put five in that next video and I'll have two for the next one uh, for episode three. Hopefully you guys are enjoying those, by the way. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed that video. Uh, yeah, obviously, uh, tell me your thoughts on the update. Is it a good one? Is it a bad one? There's a lot coming in this update. Uh, obviously, Super Salad Ds came roughly a month or two ago. Uh, I'm literally losing track of time now, but I think it was around a month and a half ago that Super Salad Ds were released globally. Uh, so let me know your thoughts on the update on Supercell IDs, uh, anything in the comments on YouTube and Twitch below. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Like, comment, like, comment, comment, subscribe, subscribe, and peace out.